Hey everyone, my name is Ellen and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to play Can't Help Falling in Love with You by Elvis Presley on the guitar. So stay tuned if this is something that you want to learn. So this song is not going to be too hard if you're a beginner. I'm going to go through and show you guys one strumming pattern and one picking pattern that you can use with this song. The chords are pretty simple. Most of them are open, but there is one bar chord, which is F. But I will also teach you guys an alternate fingering for that if you can't play bar chords. And then the only thing left to mention is that if you want to sing this in the original key that Elvis Presley sings it in, you will want to put a capo on your second fret. However, I like to sing this a little bit lower than he did, so I'm going to sing this without a capo, and I think that it sounds perfectly fine without a capo. So let's go ahead and get started by learning all the chords you need to know. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a closer look at those chords you need to know to play this song. The first one is C, which looks like this and sounds like this. Next, we'll learn G, which looks like this and sounds like this. After that we have A minor, which looks like this, and sounds like this. Next we have E minor, which looks like this, and sounds like this. Now we have F, which is our only bar chord, and it looks like this and sounds like this. And I still sometimes have trouble with bar chords and buzzing, so if you're like me and you have a little bit of trouble with bar chords, you can actually play the alternate version of F which looks like this and sounds like this. just remember the X is me not to play that string so for this alternate version you would not be playing this top E string or this bottom E string. Alright now let's move into some of those chords that are a little bit more abstract you might not have seen before which is B7 and that looks like this and sounds like this. Fun fact, that's actually my favorite chord. I don't know why, I just really like the way it sounds. And then of course we have our A7 chord which looks like this and sounds like this. All right, and then last of all we have our D minor chord which looks like this and sounds like this. And those are all the chords you need to know to play this song. Alright, so once you have all those chords memorized and you can transition between them pretty easily, let's go ahead and move on to a strumming pattern that you can use with this song. Take my hand. Now before we jump into the strumming pattern, the piece of advice that I always have if you're a beginner to guitar is to go through the entire song and just play each chord once with a downstroke. That way you know where all of the chord changes are going to be throughout the song. So I'll go ahead and give you an example. If you start with your C chord on, that's the first chord in the song, and you're just going to strum it down once, move on to the next chord, which is E minor, then A minor, then we have F, C, G, and I would go ahead and just go through the rest of the song just playing those chords once on a downstroke. That way you know that you can transition between them. And then go ahead and add in your singing so that you know which words you're going to be switching your chords on. So an example would be like this. We've got C as our first chord. Wise men say only fools rush in, but I can't help falling in love with you. Simple. 
middle, right? So go ahead and go through the rest of the song, sing it through once with those chord changes, that way you know where to expect them. And then once you get used to that, we'll go ahead and jump into our strumming pattern. So this strumming pattern is pretty simple and you can play it through the entire song. Here it is. It's just down, down, up, down, up. So let me go ahead and play this for you in rhythm so you can hear it. I've got my C chord on. I have down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. So let's go ahead and play through that pattern together. If you put your C chord on, because that's the first chord we're going to start the song with, we're just going to strum it down, down, up, down, up. If you want to use a pick, that would be easier. I just like to strum with my thumb sometimes. So we're just going to try that one more time. We've got down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. All right, and then once you get that rhythm, we can go ahead and add in our chord transitions. So now we're going to start with our C. We're going to play this pattern through once. Down, down, up. Then we're going to switch to our next chord, E minor. Down, down, up, down, up. Switch to A minor. Down, down, up, down, up. And this time we're going to play it twice. Down, down, up, down, up. Then we've got F. Down, down, up, down, up. C. Down, down, up, down, up. G. So you can see at the end of some of those phrases, we're going to be holding this pattern out twice as long. Um, it's pretty intuitive. Once you play through it, you'll figure out which ones to hold longer. And I will also play through this song at the end so that you can hear it as well. But let's go ahead and string all of those chord changes in together so that we don't have to stop between chords. And uh, let's get the rhythm down. So go ahead and put your C chord on and we're going to go through the entire first phrase. We have C down, up, down, up, E minor. Once you can play through that first phrase, you pretty much can play through the entire song because this strumming pattern is applicable for the whole song. But let's go ahead and go through that kind of bridge middle part that he sings, Like a River Flows. And so you'll see here the strumming pattern is exactly the same. We're going to apply it, except the chords will be different. So now we have E minor, down, up, down, up, B7. into the chorus and it's all the same and you can use this strumming pattern for the entire song and it'll sound really great. So let's go ahead and go through an example of what it sounds like with some singing. So I'm going to play for you the second verse into the bridge section with those minor chords just so you can hear what the entire song would sound like. So with your C chord on, we're going to go ahead and play through this.
you can do those two phrases, then you can do the entire song because the song is a little bit repetitive. And just a little fun fact, this is actually the same strumming pattern that 21 Pilots used for their cover of this song because I know a lot of you were requesting this song because of that cover. So there you go, that's how you do the strumming pattern. But now let's go ahead and get a little bit more into it and I'm going to show you a beautiful picking pattern that you can use that sounds just like the original with this song. So I've zoomed in quite a bit so that we can learn this picking pattern. So go ahead, if you put your C chord on, since that's the first chord in the song, what we're gonna do is we're going to play kind of like arpeggios with each chord. So with our C chord, what we're gonna do is with our thumb, we're going to play the lowest string in that chord, which for C would be the fifth string or the A string. So go ahead and pick that with your thumb. And then what I want you to do is with these three fingers, you're going to put them on the top three strings, G, B, and E, and then go ahead and pick those. So how we're going to play this picking pattern is we're going to start with our lowest string, go up to the top string, and then back down the guitar. So let me show you an example. We've got... So if we put that in our number form, we've got five, three, two, one, two, three. Five, three, two, one, two, three. And so that same pattern is going to apply for each chord. So we've done our C chord, let's go ahead and go into our E minor chord. So with our E minor chord, our lowest note is actually going to be our bottom E string. But again, these three fingers will still be on the top three and those will play the same. So we've got now six, three, two, one, two, three. So we've got C, E minor. And if you can play that, then you can do the rest of this picking pattern. So I'm gonna go ahead and take a minute to show you guys the rest of your chords that we'll be playing. So for A minor, our lowest string is going to be our fifth string. So that'll sound like this. Five, three, two, one, two, three. Then we have our F chord, our lowest string, and that is going to be our sixth string. So we have six, three, two, one, two, three. Now let's talk about G. Again, lowest is going to be our sixth string, so we've got six, three, two, one, two, three. We're almost done. Now let's go ahead and go to our B7 chord because we're gonna jump into that kind of middle part of the song. And with our B7 chord, our lowest string is our fifth string. But again, these three will still be the same, so we've got five, three, two, one, two, three. Then we have A7. Again, it's going to be the same. We have five, three, two, one, two, three. And then the last chord in this song that you need to know is D minor. So that is actually a little bit different. Our lowest string in the D minor chord is gonna be actually our fourth string. So now with our thumb we have four, but then these three fingers are still the same. Three, two, one, two, So you can see this pattern is pretty easy to get. You just have to remember which string to pick with your thumb. That's actually the only string that's ever gonna change. Everything else is gonna be the same. So to recap, our G chord, F chord, and E minor chord are all gonna be played with the six, three, two, one pattern. Our C chord, A minor chord, B7 chord, and A7 chords, those are all gonna be played with the five, three, two, one pattern. And then our D minor chord is going to be played with our four, three, two, one pattern. The only other one I want to mention is if you can't play bar chords and you are choosing to do the alternate version of F, then your picking pattern is gonna be a little different. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is take your thumb, put that on the fifth string, and then for these three fingers, you're going to wanna to play the middle string. So you're playing five, four, three, two. This is only applicable if you're playing the alternate version of F, but it would be five, four, three, two, three, four. 
okay? So once you memorize which strings to pick for every chord, it becomes pretty simple, the actual pattern. You just want to string them together. So now go ahead and string them together without stopping. We've got C, E minor, and that should give you a feeling of how this picking pattern will sound. So now let me go ahead and play you an example of what this sounds like in the song itself. Again, I'm gonna start with the second verse and go into that kind of bridge portion. That way you can hear a little bit of how the entire song would sound. So feel free to play along with me so you can get the hang of this as well. Again, since this song is quite repetitive, you can apply this picking pattern for the entire song and it would sound really great. And I actually think that it's pretty accurate sounding to Elvis Presley's original version. So go ahead and practice this picking pattern as slowly as you need to until you can speed it up and string it together. And then once you can do that, you can play through the entire song. All right, so once you have those chords down, you've got that strumming pattern down, and you've learned that picking pattern, let's go ahead and put those elements together and we can play the entire song. I'm gonna be playing it through with the picking pattern just because that's the version that I prefer more, but feel free to strum along with me if that's the way that you want to play. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and put everything together and play through Can't Help Falling In Love With You by Elvis Presley. Good luck. In love with
right, thank you guys so much for watching my tutorial. I hope that I was able to help you even if it was just a little bit. If you are still in the mood to play some more guitar, please feel free to check out some of my playlists. My detailed tutorials are ones that are maybe a little bit more complicated. They have picking patterns and bar chords and things that are a little bit more advanced. Um, or you can click on my basic tutorials which are more just easy songs with very simple chords and simple strumming patterns and things like that. And then my TMT tutorials are just kind of like tips and tricks that I have for you on skill learning and ways to get better at guitar and to take care of your guitar and things like that. So go ahead and check out any of those playlists if you would like to, as well as follow me on any of my social media sites. This is where I keep in contact with all of my subscribers. I like to ask you guys' opinions a lot, so if you are interested in participating in any polls that I have going on or just any song requests or anything like that, please feel free to leave those requests and those questions on my social media sites and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Um, besides that, I hope that you had fun with this song. It's a classic. It's one of my dad's favorites and therefore it's one of my favorites. So I hope that you guys enjoyed learning with me in this song and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Falling.